this is what everybody was talking about. The gathering is canceled, and they weren't necessarily talking about the gathering being canceled. They were bringing politics into it. I'm not big into politics. I think all politicians are fucking idiots, scumbags, liars, cheats, all that. But ICP canceled the gathering this year. Big fucking news. I was actually going to do an episode. You know, this week's episode was going to be me questioning when ICP is going to announce the gathering being canceled. But I was holding off to see if they would actually do it. I've actually been holding off for a couple weeks. Because as far as I'm concerned, everything I'm seeing in the news, you're not going to see any kind of concerts for the rest of this calendar year. At the least. At the least, any kind of concerts, large gatherings of people, you're not going to see for at least the rest of this calendar year. And due to all the corona shit that's going on, ICP canceled the gathering of the Juggalos. I'm glad they did this. You know, I could sit here and speculate. "Mm, I didn't think the gathering was going to happen anyway for other reasons. But hey, they bought themselves a whole nother year to pull off another gathering. So I'm just going to roll with the Corona thing, why they canceled it. Everybody was talking about this. Like I said, Peter Rosenberg saying he loves the not so insane clown posse. Everybody praising ICP for canceling their festival saying, why can't certain politicians follow in the footsteps of ICP? I honestly think we're giving ICP too much credit. With this whole canceling of the gathering of the Juggalos, comparing them to politicians who want to get shit reopened faster and all this other crazy shit that's going on. But I think we're giving them a little too much credit. They definitely deserve credit for canceling the gathering, donating those masks, the t-shirts to get made into masks, rather. So shout out to ICP for that. Really fucking dope on the mask front. It sucks that the gathering is canceled. I myself wasn't planning on going. I was wondering why tickets haven't been up for sale, considering the gathering is like supposed to be in like four months. I would imagine by now tickets would have been on sale. So smart move on their part, not not having to deal with the whole refund issue and there's whole fucking things going down with Live Nation and Ticketmaster, people not getting their refunds for tickets for shows whole types of controversy on that front. So no gathering 2020. Do not expect Hollow Wicked. Do not expect Big Ballers. I saw DC Fago guy do a video talking about, well, what if they, instead of of having the gathering, do a three-day Hollow Wicked? You're not getting a Hollow Wicked this year. You're not getting Ballers. We ain't getting Fright Fest. Uh, the fall tours, psychopathics from out of space or wicked clowns from out of space too. That's going to be canceled. Tech nines rescheduled tour dates in the fall will be canceled. You know, twisted. They had postponed their tour dates to may. And now they just said, they just put a kibosh on it saying, Hey, we're waiting till shit's really open and we ain't rescheduling shit yet. So as it's, as much as it sucks for the fans, it sucks even worse for the artists because this is how they fucking make their money on touring, selling merchandise, ticket sales. But from the information that I've seen and I know, concerts, gatherings, whatever the fuck, for at least the rest of the calendar year are just not going to happen. So don't expect it. Unfortunately, and it just kind of is what it is at this point. 